I chose this line of work because I actually received speech language services when I was younger and I always wanted to work with children and I fell into the world of speech pathology just looking through my own background. Speech pathology was a little near and dear to me because my middle child had had speech issues. She saw speech pathologists between the ages of three and and 11, they made a big impact on her life and I wanted to be able to make the same impact on children and their families. I am a pediatric speech pathologist, so I work with children of all ages, beginning in the NICU, all the way through 18 on speech and language, as well as feeding and swallowing skills. And then for speech and language evaluations for those cleft kids, we're working from newborn, from the feeding and swallowing aspect, to then speech and language all the way up until their late teenage for speech and language evaluations. Parents bring their child to the Milton J. Dance Junior Head Next Center when they're concerned about their child's speech and language development. Development. The children come in, we get to know them usually in the play area so that they can feel comfortable with us. For speech and language evaluations, we take the children through just some structured play tasks, having just observing them interact with maybe their parents and interacting with us as the clinicians. And then we try to do some formal assessment, looking at their speech, their language, their pragmatics, their social skills, their play skills, their interaction skills. For feeding and swallowing evaluations, we always ask the patients to come hungry. We have the parents bring them, usually with whatever they're feeding, and we set up a feeding environment for them. So we take them through whatever feeding mode that they're using right now and we help them implement better feeding strategies by maybe changing flow rates on the nipples, positioning techniques. So we can have a whole bag of tricks that we go through during that evaluation process to see how we can get these kids to be more efficient and better feeders. During the evaluation, we're able to give you really good information about what your child's skills are and what your child's needs are. And just because you bring a child in for an eval doesn't mean that they necessarily will need therapy. We like to see parents bringing in their children sooner rather than later. So whenever those motor milestones or speech milestones, those developmental milestones, aren't being met at the age appropriate level, it kind of shoots as a red flag for us where we want to take a look at those skills, see how they're developing, and if we need further assessment. Our youngest patients are those patients in our neonatal intensive care unit here at GBMC. And so we very much follow a team approach in the NICU to develop the best method to support this child in achieving feeding goals so that they are able to go home. I wanted to work at the MJ Dance Center because of the team, the collaboration. I really like the family orientedness of GBMC between the pediatricians, the NICU, the providers, and just how well the community works together. When I first started to notice my daughter had speech issues at a very early age, I tried to explain it away. I was, I was a little nervous and I, I was a little scared about bringing her in for an evaluation. And when I finally, with the guidance from my pediatrician, um, brought her in for an evaluation, it was the best thing that I could ever have done for her. It really got her on the path to becoming successful and achieving her speech and language goals. Early intervention is key. We find that children who receive early intervention, particularly before school age, are children who tend to be more successful in achieving their speech and language goals.